welcome to this camo tutorial, starting with Elysium Green with a little bit of Lemain Medium. Now, first of all, just want to put the green all over the cloak, back and front. Now, I, I speeded this clip up a little bit um, just to get it done. Now, that's two coats there. I've applied two coats of Elysium Green. Next, we're going to start putting our shapes on with Gorfor Brown, again with a bit of Lemayan Medium, and um, just putting a few shapes on the back of the cloak and the, the front as well, but um, it doesn't have to be in this particular order. Just some brown shapes, some swirly patterns now. I appreciate that the shapes, the size of them on the cloaks. Um, if it was real life, the, the shapes would be a lot smaller in scale. Um, but the problem is, if you're going too realistic and you do that and it, you make it smaller, I find it doesn't look good on the tabletop. It just looks like a complete mess on the back of the cloak. So you've got to kind of um, almost caricature it a bit, um, just to make them bigger, bold, bold lines and shapes. I've tried a few different colours. These are the ones that I prefer. So the Gorefall Brown. Be mindful of the folds in the cloak as well when you're doing your shapes. And try and get the shapes as tidy as you can. Um, no mess with displaying from the brush over the top of the folds. Once that's done, I'm going to come in with Rhinox Hide. Uh, I did try it with black, but it just didn't look right. It's a Rhinox Hide. Uh, this is representing, I don't know, kind of, I suppose, branch-like shapes of the forest. Where it's the, uh, it's a forest kind of camouflage we're doing here, so to speak. So, kind of branch these lines out a little bit, and in some instances, you want to run parallel to, and you can run them right alongside the Gorefall Brown and you can tidy those shapes up a bit as you do so. These are slightly thinner, uh, these, the, uh, the Rhinox hide. So we've got the, like, the thick Gorefall Brown, a slightly thinner Rhinox hide. Our next colour will be a bit thicker again as well, but th on this one, you don't want to go too mad either, just a, a little bit here and there. I think less is more for this kind of thing. Really. Otherwise, it does it does look, just look like a mess if you are not careful. So, let's put a few lines on. Don't go over the top. Right, Nurgling Green is next, and we're just, this is uh, slightly thicker lines uh, again. And this is just breaking up the camo pattern. So it gives a bit more uh, a bit more depth to. The, the camouflage towards the, the eye as you look at it. So remember, well, this will be on the tabletop, so you you know you won't be scrutinising it too closely. So it just breaks up the camo pattern a little bit, and gives a little bit more depth, and makes it a little more realistic, in my opinion. So bear that in mind. In my opinion, <laughs> again, be mindful of the folds in the cloak. And just, you know, take your time, don't rush it, don't just blob them on. Uh, but at the same time, it doesn't, you know, there's no uh, real design to these patterns. They're just, they are just random. And when you've done that, that's all your shapes done then. A Phonian Camo Shade is a rather good one. And just blob this all over. It's, a, it's like a nice uh, greeny brown. And it's perfect for this type of paint job. Camo shade, camouflage, excellent stuff. I see what they did there. Yeah, so just slather this all over, but don't let it pull too heavily in the folds at the bottom. So be mindful of that. You know, use whatever technique you, you uh, prefer when you're doing the shading on cloaks because it can be problematic if you let it pull too heavily. So I'm just dabbing it up. And, uh, one, at one stage I rest it sort of horizontally but um, yeah so just like that really and once that's dry 
Coming with some Agrax shade now, and this is a little bit more precise. I'm just going over the brown areas and the bottom of the cloak. So just the brown bits, the gorful brown, and a little bit along the bottom edge of the cloak to make it look a bit more dirtied up uh, from the battlefield, I guess. That's looking around. All the, the mud and the muck. Small brush doing this. Just dab it in the places you want it to go. And that's really it. Um, no more to it. No, nothing magical or mystical about this one. That's it. That's your camo um, cloak or forest camouflage. Hopefully, I'll be doing other types later on, but that is it. Um, give it a go. See you on the next one, guys.